Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. US stocks rose on Tuesday, boosted by declines in Treasury yields as Wall Street assessed the geopolitical risks from the Israel-Hamas war. The benchmark 10-year Treasury yield fell only 13 basis points to about 4.65% as investors sought safe assets amid the conflict. Yields and prices move in opposite directions. The move reflected the first reaction to the Israel-Hamas conflict in the US bond market, which was closed Monday for Columbus Day. Oil prices also eased after rallying in the previous session, providing relief to investors. Falling bond yields lifted stocks as Wall Street remained concerned over the recent quick rise in interest rates. Investors also began looking past the geopolitical risk caused by the Israel-Hamas war, helped by Friday's stronger-than-expected September payrolls report and some optimism ahead of a slate of third-quarter earnings this week. Overall, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was higher by 0.4%, the S&P 500 gained 0.52%, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite gained 0.58%. PepsiCo shares rose 1.9% after the beverage and snack maker reported better-than-expected third-quarter results and raised its earnings outlook. Some energy and industrial names continued their stretch into the green on Tuesday, with Enphase Energy rising 5% and Generac Holdings gaining 3.8%. Another bright spot during the day's trading session was small caps, with the Russell 2000 index of small capitalization companies and the S&P small cap 600 index gaining just over 1%. The Russell, up nearly 1% so far this year, rose for a fifth consecutive day, a feat last accomplished in July. And looking ahead to this week's third quarter earnings results, JP Morgan Chase is expected to lead the earnings se season for large US banks with a projected 25% increase in EPS compared to the previous year, according to LSEG estimates. In contrast, Goldman Sachs and Citigroup are anticipated to report the largest declines of EPS at 35% and 26% respectively, while Morgan Stanley's EPS is also expected to decrease. Turning to US sectors now, energy was the only sector that closed lower. This was largely due to the drop in oil prices. Utilities was the best performer. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Thank you for listening.